Howdy, Possum Patty here, and I've been sharing bargain books with you that I will be using in junk journals. Now, I've already showed you the Dragonology book that I got to make my dragon journal with, of course, and I love it. The illustrations in here aren't gorgeous. Yes, they are. But I ordered a couple other books and they came today. So I'm very excited to get these open and look at them and share them with you. So come on along. Okay, let me get these open. And I just also wanted to mention that I was so excited walking up to the mailbox. <laughs> because I saw a new wildflower blooming down the road and it was very, very pretty, very pretty. So I had to get out my wildflowers in the field and forest for Northeastern United States and look it up. And I do believe it is a meadow sweet, a meadow sweet, very pretty. Wasn't on my property though, but on the people next door. As I walk up to the mailbox, and oh my gosh, look at this! <gasps> Fairyopolis, the flower fairy's journal. Look at this! Look at this! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, I can't wait to look in here. Oh. All right, I will list below what I paid for these, and I got them on. Um, I got these on eBay. I ordered them the same day I ordered the Dragonology, but they came from different sellers on eBay, I believe. Yes. All right, let me get that out of the way. This one came from. Bay State Books in North Smithfield, Rhode Island. Hmm. North Smithfield, Rhode Island is not very far away. And the other book came from Goodwill in Columbus, Georgia, it looks like. Columbus, Georgia. This one came from Goodwill. And... I haven't seen the inside of these books. Oh, look at that. Flower Fairies Magical Doors. Apparently this is a whole series of books about the flower fairies. Oh, and they're huge. Look at the size of this compared to the Dragonology book which is, let me reach for my ruler here. This is 12. This is like a 10 by 12 book right here. So it's going to be hard to get it under the camera all at one time. But you can see on the cover the little flower fairies and they're flying through a door. Discover the doors to Fairyopolis. My name is Evie. When I moved to this village with my family last year, I soon made a best friend named Grace. Together we made some other friends too, secret friends, and now we're going to tell you all about them. <laughs> It began one evening when I was writing in my diary. I had the strangest feeling someone was watching me. My pencil rolled off the table, and as I reached down to pick it up, something shiny caught my eye. It was a tiny brass handle attached to a small door. Oh, and so here's the little door. A little nervous, I slowly turned the handle, Inside, I discovered a staircase, and I think I saw a miniature foot disappearing up the stairs. Oh, <laughs> it's going to be hard to get this under the camera, but if you look there carefully, as I turn it, the little foot disappears. 
Now this looks like it's pulled off a little bit. Do I need to glue that down? So this is a used book. So I don't expect it to be in perfect condition. My name is Grace, and now this is about Grace's friend. Look at this gorgeous picture. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this gorgeous picture. Let me take you on a little tour of the page. Look at the little fairy in there and the gorgeous flowers. And there's a door, baking in progress, keep out. Secret fairy recipes. And there's a little fairy over here. And there's a bee up there. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So let me open the door and let's see. Let me move my dragons aside for right now. What is inside? And oh, they're all movable. Look, there's a little fairy with a basket of strawberries. And as you open the door, she hides behind there. Hmm. Okay, I'm wondering if I can take this whole page and put that into a journal. Wouldn't that be fun? You know, I think this might this might supposed to lift because as it lifts, there's something underneath there that has to move. There was a tiny table set for afternoon tea. <laughs> The little doors with fairies disappearing on the other side. There's one down here. Oh, this one works really good. <laughs> little fairy coming down the slide. That is super cute. And here she's got a magnifying glass and sees a chain with a key on it. Oh, I guess that's the key to the doors. And let me show you this page. See the little fairies hiding in the daffodils? And there's one up at the top. And on the other side of the page, there is one hiding behind the ferns. Oh, beautiful garden. <laughs> Look at the little door here. Oh, what is this? New baby. Oh, it's got a latch. Oh, that's a clever idea to make a latch. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's like a three-dimensional, and there's a little baby fairy inside. <gasps> that's gorgeous. Hmm. I'll have to reverse engineer and see how they made that. Beautiful. And then the tab goes in there like that. Keep it closed. I'll show you some of the fairies on this beautiful page. Look at that. The flowers are all gorgeous. We have some poppies down here. I want to show you closer up, going into the door. And when you lift this out, you can see that there's another fairy inside there. And the little baby. And some more fairies. Oh, look at the gorgeous dragonfly. And down in the corner is a little book. It says Fairy Folklore. And some fairies down here. And what is this? I can see a little face in the window. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is like a... Um, 
it's got a screen on it. Beautiful door though. Gorgeous. Alright, let me show you some of this page. I can fix up this crown with some gold paint. The fairy's behind the screen, so it's going to show those lines like that. But look at the door. And down here, there are some fairies and some yellow flag over here. And that fun fairy way up in the corner. Oh, isn't this gorgeous? Look at this. This one's got fruit, apple trees, and it's got mushrooms. Maybe we're getting more into the fall now. Oh, I love this. Oh, it says pull over here. All right, so I'm going to pull this. Let's see what it does. Oh, oh my gosh, look at that. How clever is that? It's like a double set of doors here. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. Fairy clothesline. Oh my goodness. And here's a mirror. Now this is a great idea for your fairy journal. Make some fairy clothes and put them on a, on a line. And have a flower garden in the back. That is super sweet. And look, here's a little fairy opening the door. Some fairies down at the bottom. This one's in a little shoe. <laughs> and little fairy dresses. And little tiny fairy shoes. Ooh, big purple page. Last night was the most exciting night of my life. Evie and I were having a sleepover, and we were woken by strange music. Ooh, I wonder what's going to be behind the door. Let's check this out. Oh, I see snowflakes. And the ferns are all frosty. All right, let's see what's behind this door. They heard music. What can it be? These are giant doors. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. Look at this. <sighs> oh my word. Look at this. It's just, oh, I don't know if I can even get it all in. There's fairies and butterflies. Oh, there we go. That butterfly popped out. Little fairy swing in there. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Am I like the world's oldest six year old or what? And that is the end. Magical Doors. This was published by Penguin, Penguin Books, and copyright 2009. Reproduction of Cecily Mary Barker's illustrations. Flower fairies. All right, one more. Look at this one. Fairyopolis. All right, let's look into Fairyopolis, a flower fairies journal. Oh, it's going to be like a journal. I'm so excited. All right, how do you say her name? I've always said Cecily Mary Barker. Some people say Cecily, like Cecilia. But you can correct me below. <laughs> we'll just move on into the book. Dear Sirs, I hope you will not mind my writing to you with a 
request. I am an artist and writer who has been fascinated by fairies since I was a child. My first book, Flower Fairies of the Spring, will be published later this year. I am sending the Society a journal I kept during the summer of 1920 when I felt particularly inspired to write and sketch capriciously I am trusting you, my fellow fairy lovers, to look after and preserve this book. And this was sent to the British Fairy Folklore Society. Hmm. 1923. And I wonder if this is her actual script. While the personages and places within this journal have been checked and proven to be accurate, the publisher has been unable to verify the accounts with scientific evidence and therefore regretfully advises they be enjoyed on their own, on their merits alone. <laughs> okay, it's a very fat page. Something in the middle. I don't know. This is clipped on here. Oh, I see this is like clip, full clipped on. And, oh, look at the watercolor down here. Isn't that beautiful? Sorry if the page is shiny. I love paintings like this where you just sort of get like an impression of the colors and the feel of the day. So this was in April. And this is pasted on there. <laughs> the Daisy Fairy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, you can lift it. Oh, and I see. Oh, this is a postcard. Or a copy of a postcard. And a little fairy underneath. And a picture of Grandma down here. Grandmother sent me this postcard when I was little. Often she had told me all about a pretty fairy who lived among the daisies. So I guess that's her actual grandmother. Hmm beautiful illustrations and this is in May and they're making it like a journal so you can see there's an arrow going over <laughs> to this piece over there and little sketches of fairies here oh and what is this a field guide to fairies let me see what is a fairy? A fairy is a tiny being in human form that possesses magical powers. The English word fairy comes from the old French fairy and the Latin feta meaning fate. The classical Greek fates were believed to control the destiny of the human race. Hmm. Fairies are called by different names. Fairy Fae, the little folk, the good people. Main types of fairies, we have flower fairies, elves, and pixies. Goblins and brownies, ooh, and dwarves and gnomes and leprechauns, oh my. Wow. of Sussex. Oh my goodness, look at this. Isn't this beautiful? My library books have given me an intriguing insight into the world of fairies. It seems that for centuries people have encountered fairies, pixies, and elves in locations all over the country. What is more, I have come across an entire chapter on Sussex and its supposed population of little folk. I appear to be living in a county that is infamous for its supernatural inhabitants. Oh my. The British Fairy Folklore Society. A very fragile treasure, extremely delicate. Almost transparent in parts. What is it? Could disintegrate if handled roughly. Is that a fairy wing? Is that a fairy wing? 
I stumbled across this tiny scrap caught on a sharp thorn. At first, I thought it part of a butterfly's wing, but on closer inspection, I don't believe it is. Oh, so she, maybe that's a fairy wing. Mm-hmm. A perplexing little find. Butterflies. I'm going to have to sit down and read this whole thing. Oh, this might not go into a journal because this is gorgeous. I didn't know what the inside of this book looked like. I just thought it would be something that I could cut up and use in a journal. But, oh, this must be pictures of her, the author. Hmm. Well, what I might wind up doing is just keeping these books and using the pages for inspiration. Little letters. That is gorgeous. This is super fun. I'll leave the little candle. Oh my. Going to August. She's got a cup of tea over here. Plan of action. The best times for seeing fairies. You know what might be really fun is that I start my own fairy journal and it is a journal of like how this one, how they discovered the fairies behind the doors. And this one is, you know, a lot of her personal life is actually here. So you can kind of combine your real life with the fairy world and kind of put it all together and make a really fun journal. This is super fun. Dictionary of fairy trees. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Oh, here's a photo of a fairy ring made of mushrooms. We're into September. Got the blackberries ripening here. Mother's blackberry jam. A little thing on how to how to do that. I get the seeds out. Blackberries have a lot of seeds. Oh my gosh, look at this. That is adorable. Look at this one. This looks like elderberries here. And blackberries. A lot of these on my property. Oh, oh, look at this. Tales of grateful and helpful fairies. You can make up your own fairies if you want to. The Storrington Residents Association. Hmm. Paid in full. <laughs> oh my gosh. The Fairy Fair. Hundreds of fairies gather at nighttime for one of their favorite events, the fairy fair. There's a sketch here of the fairy fair going on. Oh, and they've got, they've got these bats up here on strings. September. Oh, a little envelope here. You can see it's got fairy dust in it. You see the glitter in there? Oh. Fairy dust. I believe this to be fairy dust. <laughs> I cannot say how relieved I am to have some physical evidence at last. I am not imagining things. <laughs> oh, I see. It's all down the page. Oh. oh, I love these little watercolors in here. Look at the little tiny envelope. Beautiful. Only oh, she left the little notes to the fairies. And this is the end. Oh, this book is in great shape. And what is this? All you have to do is look and you will find us. Oh, this is a gift from the fairies. You can see the fairies. And it's like a... A stereoscope. It's putting the two images together and making it look 3D. 
Oh my goodness, I am so pleased with these purchases. And now that I've looked at it and know that I will not be tearing these up into a journal, not this one anyway, but I will use this as inspiration to make sort of this kind of a journal. And it'll be like a nature journal, but I'm finding fairies, something like that, okay? But I've got to read through this first. This is just so interesting. Okay, how much did I pay for Fairyopolis? Fairyopolis on eBay with tax and shipping included. This book cost me $5.60. Yes, <laughs> $5.60. Well worth $5, I would say. The original price on this was $19.99. The Flower Fairies Magical Doors, which is a little bit more worn out, but that's okay. I don't know if I will keep this one intact or actually try and take this apart or maybe just keep it like this and you know reverse engineer some of these some of these ideas so I don't know we'll see about this one so the magical doors this one cost me with tax and shipping total six dollars and 93 cents so this one was $5.60, and this one was $6.93. I have one more coming about the flower fairies. Well, one more that I ordered. I might order a few more. And that is the flower fairies of the winter. And with tax and shipping, I paid $7.17 for that one. But that's not here yet. That'll be here in a few days. And the Dragonology, with tax and shipping, I only paid $3.71 for this because it, it's a damaged book. But that was okay because I knew I wanted to use what was inside of it. So that was fine. So that's what I paid, a bargain price, and definitely going to do some fairy journaling and some dragon journaling. So thanks for coming along today for a hashtag Thrifty Thursday hosted by Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming and a hashtag Bargains for Junk Journaling. Keep it magical. Bye-bye. <laughs>